Hello. Well, you asked for it. Here's my interview, well, interviews, with both Ashley Birch, who plays Tina, formerly known as Tiny Tina, and Brina Palencia, from, or who plays Mad Moxie, from Borderlands 3, or the Borderlands in general. This is awkward, because this, uh, these, both these interviews happened, uh, almost five years ago, and it's been a journey since then, going from a simple podcaster, kind of just thrown into the world of interviewing right away, learning how to interview through many different sources and, uh, and school, and <laughs> let's just say a lot has changed in the last five years, before I started streaming on Twitch, before I did anything. And these interviews, if given the chance to do them again, I 100% would, and I would do them in such, such a better manner. But, y'all asked for it. Y'all said it was a good idea to put these out again into the world. And, well, I am, I, I am also very lucky and quite, um, quite blessed to have uh, have met these lovely ladies and uh, and have been able to talk to them in in this type of manner. Um, so because of that, I do apologize for the audio quality. Uh, I was using like a forty dollar mixer and some like ten dollar mics, and it was in a a office in a convention center somewhere. It, it's it's the worst situation I could have asked for. Uh, but I, again, another thing I've learned a million times over since then. So, sorry, I'm kind of loud. I, I'm, I'm a little nervous and excited at the same time. It's a, it's a little bit crazy. Um, but with that being said, enjoy this. Enjoy the rest of, uh, of, of these things. These, uh, the first, the Ashley Birch, uh, episode or the, the interview is, is quite short, um, which and I, because I got that like a wrap up sign from like a from one of the managers there that was running the whole room and stuff like that, and I was like, hey, she needs to be somewhere and whatever. Um, thank goodness he did because well, I I just made I I con I considered my that interview to be a total and utter uh embarrassment to myself, but she was amazing. Ashley Birch is amazingly talented, as you guys know. I'm still a huge fan of her. She's amazing. I I've interviewed her again since then. But it, it's, it, the, the recording was lost. Uh, she was sick, which didn't really affect much because she's still awesome. I was in a super busy room and noisy room. It just didn't work out, but that doesn't matter. Um, and then Brina Palencia's uh, interview went a lot longer. Um, she, her and I just, just chit-chatted. Um, I listened to both of them already all the way through. Cringed the entire time. And... Well, I mean, just 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 listen to it. It's it's a bunch of fun, uh, and hopefully you guys like it. Please don't don't uh, just just keep the cringes to a uh, to a minimum. I love you guys. Bye. Um, but basically, we're just gonna talk about you because okay. there was a lot of Anthony on that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. I wanted to. I want to talk to you. Okay. Um. So, how's your con going? It's going great. I I really like. Uh, I've I've really enjoyed going to anime cons mm -hmm. and I've I like a lot of the same guests will come and I've become yeah. friends with them and so it's it's really fun and everyone here has been super super nice. Yeah, actually, and I'm surprised it's Sacramento, but um, <laughs> and I'm from here. I can say that I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's I don't know. It, we're hit and miss here, and oh, I'm really? very very impressed with Sac Anime this year. Yeah. Um, they brought in a lot of cool people, especially you. Oh, thank um, you. I'm a huge fan of yours, by the way. I'm thank trying you. I'm trying not to gush, but. Oh well, um, <laughs> but 
Okay, so in the process of your writing, I want to get into your writing. I know sure. that you wrote for Valve. Mm -hmm. um, you also wrote for um, Gearbox as well, right? No, I haven't. No, for just for Valve. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, so, are you allowed to talk about anything going on? Um, well, the thing that I was brought up to Valve for mm -hmm. um, ended up getting canceled. But while I was there, I, w I worked on. Um, so during the big Man vs. Machine launch, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, we released a series of comics and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I worked a lot on the comics and um, also just like random like flavor text on the sites and that kind right. of thing. So, right. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. No, that's cool. I, I have a question that. I don't know if this happens at all because you have such a great game out there. Has anybody ever come up to you and just kind of like uh, bagged on your game a little bit in front of to you? To your face? Does that happen to you? A lot more than positive, yeah. Oh, wow, Unfortunately, really? uh, unfortunately. No, usually the negative stuff happens online, on the internet. Like forums and stuff, and people say that they hate Tiny Tina and wanted to die, that kind of stuff. Internet, like, I think the internet as a whole is a troll. That's um, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I, I get things like, hey, um, so you worked on the game? I had a very small part, but I did work on it, and people will tell me, oh, why didn't you make it better? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> but, I mean, you, you've done an amazing job with everything so far. Thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to way more, because I know that your talent is wonderful. Oh, I mean, thank you so much. I've heard uh, in Colonial Marines, it was, mm. <laughs> that's, that's a game that people will come up to me and be like, I, I didn't have fun with it, but... I enjoyed all the personalities in it and how everything was portrayed. And I was like, well, awesome. All the people in there are great. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you're supposed to be, I guess. Um, but I don't know. We connected on Twitter uh -huh. um, yesterday, uh -huh. and I was like, I got to get Ashley. Ashley is one of my favorites. And oh, when I heard... So I actually... I wasn't planning on doing many interviews at SAC Anime mm -hmm. until I saw your name. And I was like, all oh, right, man. cool. See, I'm gushing. Everybody's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. But uh, so the podcast is called Daniel Sucks okay. because I get to go and do these cool things like work on video games that are huge and talk to people such as yourself. <laughs> and my friends tried to tell me I suck. And this guy actually came up with the podcast, Terry. Say hi. <laughs> because he, he does a whole list on the things that he doesn't like about me, but he really loves me, I think. Do you really love him? Mm. <laughs> There's some genuine ambivalence in that. Yes, in that exactly. Um, so, as a voice actor, and and you got into it kind of accidentally, but at the same time, it's something you wanted to do. Which yeah. I, and oh, sorry, um, being a video gamer mm -hmm. and getting into the industry. Mm -hmm. Um, is awesome. It, that's that's the thing I love to see. I see a lot of actors getting into it, and that's awesome as well. Mm -hmm. But to see the gamers and the true gamers, like especially like your brother who loves games and wants to write for him, it's amazing. And um, so I'm going to switch topics just a little bit. I heard you talk about The Binding of Isaac uh -huh. um, on the Indoor Kids, not to plug another oh, okay. podcast. I was, and oh, I wonder when I did that. It was a while ago. It was a long yeah. time ago. But... That is one of my favorite games, especially from the indie scene. Yeah. And I don't know. It's a dark comedy, but yeah. I think it's pretty great. Um, what what kind of, um, I don't know, do you have anything to say about oh, Binding of Isaac? Yeah. Yeah. Itself? Um, so Edmund, uh, it's, it's kind of, if, if you don't know what Binding of Isaac is, it's a roguelike. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like... Um, randomized yeah it's, so yeah. It, it's sort of reminiscent of like the uh, the old school Zeldas yeah. um, but with rogue roguelike elements in it and uh, Edmund hit the narrative of it is kind of about like Edmund's experience with I think Catholicism when mm -hmm. he was a kid yeah so it's very dark and very there's a lot dark. of um, like sort of graphic like biblical gory stuff in there um, but it's a super fun game yeah. and uh, I really like roguelikes um, yeah. which I guess I hate myself because they're very hard, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, Binding of Isaac and Spelunky, and nice. uh, I got to play Cave of the Necro, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I always say it wrong. <laughs> it's Crypt of the Necro Dancer recently. Well, uh, there's a lot of names that are very similar. Yes, it's nowadays. True. Um, but all amazing games and roguelikes, I think, are such an awesome use of because they they're really they're great at at producing like player driven stories, just yeah. like kind of emergent storytelling, like 
there's so many I can't tell you how many times because everyone in my house plays Spelunky I live with a bunch of my friends <laughs> and it'll just be like you'll be working on something on the computer and then like my friend Yulia will burst in and be like Ashley I was so close <laughs> I got to hell I you know I was just, I was like a level from beating Yama and then a vampire comes down and I and then I'll do the same thing the next week I'm like Yuli <laughs> Yama and I just froze and you know so um Games like that where you can have that sort of mm -hmm. shared experience, I think, are so fun. Those are great. And, it, I mean, to bring it all the way around to Borderlands 2, mm -hmm. I'll play with three of my friends. Yes, and yes. you'll get to a part where you're battling this giant boss and you are almost there, almost to, com to defeating him. Then one person goes down. Oh, yeah. that was that was the guy that was healing you. So everybody else so goes everyone, down. Yeah, so and screwed. you talk about it for weeks after that. You're like, we were so close to finishing it. Yeah, yeah. And it's fun. I mean, playing Borderlands 2 is great, too, because it's... Um, it's it's just a great game for um, it's a great game a yeah. and b it's a great gr game to just like catch up with people yeah because you can hop on for like a mission mm -hmm. and like talk about you know what's going on in your day what's going on and <laughs> and you know maybe you fight a boss or maybe you just like you just do a quick mission and then yeah. you, you log off you can run around just killing stuff you with just your run friends around and killing stuff yeah. exactly yeah like um what what are you playing right now? are you playing anything right now I know you're kind of busy but. Yeah so I um I was talking about Spelunky I yeah. I've been trying to get to and beat Hell. Mm -hmm. for so long oh actually, you're still working on that no okay. I finally did it actually. oh you did it uh, I finally did it in Phoenix when I was there for the holidays like, for <laughs> filming I beat it and uh, do you travel with a console of course no 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 we no? actually have one back oh. home but I, I have my my laptop is actually surprisingly good with indie games so after I beat Spelunky I was, there was a hole in my heart and uh, so I started playing Eldritch which is another yeah. roguelike it's kind of like yeah. Spelunky mis mixed with Dishonored yeah right so it's it's great. Dishonored. Um, that's that's getting really big, and I've seen a couple cosplays here, which has been yeah, I saw pretty cool awesome. Pretty yeah, awesome. it was yeah. cool. It's tall, dude. Super um, cool, yeah. But yeah, I mean, so the new Thief coming out mm -hmm. is that kind of in your genre? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really bad at stealth games. Yeah. To be totally honest, I love. I mentioned yeah, Metal Gear is uh, a franchise that's very mm -hmm. near and dear to my heart. But the yeah. way that I play Metal Gear is like <laughs> okay. <laughs> I it's, think he might have, fuck, I have to kill him. He saw me out. Yeah. Like, it's stuff like that. It's all about running around until you get caught and then go hide and do something right. stealthy. That's, that's the way I play stealth games. It's yeah. not the way you're supposed to play stealth games. Oh, like, when yeah. Anthony plays stealth games, he actually plays a stealth game. For me, I'm just like, ah, the entire time. Well, the, yeah, like Dishonored, you have the option to go out and just go balls out, just kill everybody, or yeah. you can be stealthy. I think I tried being stealthy for a good five minutes. Uh huh. And then I was like, no, can't do it. The thing about me is that I feel in games where I know that I can do it completely non lethally, I feel bad if I kill people. People, because so you I, have the option. Because I have the option to not, but I'm yeah. just not good enough to not. And so I was playing Dishonored, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna sneak around this guard. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. And then he saw me like mm -hmm. immediately. He just like sta I was like, <laughs> from, probably from his perspective, I was standing like in the middle of the hallway, like not even like remotely like hidden. Oh. And so as I was killing him because I had to progress, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And that was just my entire experience with Dishonored. Um, so I'm getting the wrap up sign. But could you do me one huge favor? I know yes. you've probably gotten tons of requests this weekend. Oh, it's not a big deal. But um, I think this it fits perfect. Like I said, the the, the podcast is called Dan Sucks. Uh -huh. Would you be able to tell me in a tiny Tina voice yes. that Dan sucks? Dan, you suck, shouty. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much yeah, thank you for sitting down with me this has been amazing totally yeah pleasure to meet you yeah, you too well i appreciate that how's your um how's your con going uh it's been awesome it's been really good yeah everyone's been really nice and i had my little brother here oh awesome super accommodating it was great yeah so they they he came up here or yeah my little brother actually lives in honduras Okay. So he was visiting me in Dallas, and then I was like, I'm going to an anime convention. You want to come? Because he's actually a really big Naruto fan. Oh, that's awesome. And so I was like, I think you'll like it. So he came with me. So it was, so it was his first convention. Did experience. he see all the all the cosplay, yeah, all the Naruto yeah. cosplay? That's he was, awesome. He was a bit overwhelmed, but I think he had a good time. I think we were upstairs earlier, and we saw at least 30 of them all. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday. It was yesterday. There was yeah. tons of them. Totally. That was great. I bet he enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, but cool. So, um... <laughs> We can go right into Borderlands if you want. Yeah, sure. um, is there anything else you want to talk about today? Um, I, oh, I mean, I don't know. As far as voice acting, I'm really bad at knowing what I'm allowed to talk about. Right. Uh, but right. I can talk about my on-camera stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. I uh, just did an episode of The Walking Dead that was this uh, this season. I am on ep ep episode four. Play. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, 
and I also have a show coming out on the CW, mm -hmm. uh, February 17th. Um, it's called Starcrossed. Yes. It's got aliens and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. That's, uh, I, we actually, I've been out in New Orleans for four and a half months working on that, so um, that's kind of like taken up all of my time. So when people ask me like, oh, what do you have coming out? I'm like, the only thing I can think about is that. <laughs> But that's cool. I mean, it's big. It's awesome. Yeah, it's exciting. So, um, you've been doing this for a little bit. Um, I've been voice acting for 10 years, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. It's a while, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were in Borderlands 1 and 2, yes, which yeah. was great. Mm -hmm. um, I love the hell out of your character. It was great. Thank you so um, much. It, it's definitely fun to interact with these people and then to see them on, like, YouTube, see you guys on YouTube right, and stuff. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow, those are the people. And then now I'm here talking to the person, and I'm a little overwhelmed, but it's pretty awesome i'll try not to gush too much yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't get weird bro. hey i make it <laughs> weird um no but i've been somewhat in the video game industry for a little bit now uh, i worked on the latest call of duty and kind of been out there so i know the industry a little bit yeah, but sure. what is it like to be kind of into the voice acting world is it like did you get to work with anybody on borderlands like uh, other voice actors no not at all it's we by get, yourself we, yeah we get we're recorded individually, mm -hmm. and honestly, I feel like with video games, they are so much fun, but we don't get to have as much of an emotional connection with them as mm -hmm. we do on other stuff, like whenever I do my anime stuff or any anything on camera, like, because uh, we don't spend much time with the character. We just go in and shout a bunch of stuff and then leave. Yeah. So I actually get really nervous whenever I get questions about Moxie because I also, I've only played like two hours of the game right. and I haven't seen a lot of my character. Yeah. And so I, I get really nervous because, I, you know, we are cold reading all the stuff. We don't get the script beforehand and we don't get to take it home or anything. So you have to like so develop the connection while you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind and, of, yeah, it's weird. And then people always ask, you know, what's your favorite line? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't remember any lines. I had to read hundreds of them yeah. in a four hour span. So I guess what most people don't understand is you, you have to do a response kind of in different voices and because you yeah. don't exactly well, know what's going on. that's the other on. thing too is that whenever they ask me to do a line it's like well I did four different versions mm -hmm. of that line so I'm not really sure which one you're wanting to hear. Right, right. Because yeah. and you don't always know which one's going to make it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, I, I forget. It, there's there's not different dialogues but um, how many how, you have to go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lines but how many are different in the sense that you have to do different, um, I don't know, answers to questions? I guess you don't have to do that in Borderlands too much. Yeah, not too much. No, I've but done other games where, yeah, that's like all you're doing for the whole session. Right. It's just different options of the different questions. Um, what have you done? Um, I was on Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Oh. So I was in the Walking Dead game <laughs> and the show. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, <laughs> and uh, I've done a lot of indie games like Comic Jumper. Right. And uh, that's great. The Maw and... Uh, on Duke Nukem. Oh. Uh, I actually really like having that on my resume mm -hmm. because, you know, on your resume you have the project and it's the parts you play. It's a big name. And I just put Duke Nukem, various sluts. <laughs> 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 that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's that's an interesting thing to put on the resume, that's yeah, for yeah, sure. Totally. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm uh, trying to remember all the other games I've done, but I can't. No, this Actually, there's a lot of games that I don't know what they are because really? they don't tell you whenever you're you just going to work. On them, especially with the indie games, because you know they don't blow up and you don't hear about it and all yeah. that stuff. And then I'll get people will give me, you know, their stuff to sign, and I'm like, I don't know who that is. Because <laughs> and a lot of times you don't even see the character. It's like, oh hey. It's just like a random voice that I did in a void of space that I have no idea what the character looks like. I don't know what the game is called. I don't know anything about They're it. Like, hey, read this and do it kind of happy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, do this one really loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I can't tell you how many times people have handed me stuff that I'm like, ah, I don't know what this is. How much Was I in this? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> how much direction do you get? Like, uh, you know, it depends on the on the project, on the pro and yeah. it depends on the director. Um, sometimes it's very little, and sometimes it's too much, and sometimes it's just right. Right. Um, I feel like with Borderlands, it's really helpful because. Uh, well, Gearbox Moxie, has some great people. Yes, yeah. fantastic people, and Moxie is actually a character that does not come natural to. Me me at mm -hmm. all. Uh, I don't typically play six sexy characters. I often voice little boys and like, you know, little kids yeah. and creatures and stuff like that. And so uh, I, uh, now granted, the, the direction they give me is almost always the same. It's mm -hmm. always, uh, could you do that like you're talking about sex? 
uh, do that sexier. <laughs> uh, right. More like an innuendo. Yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, okay. They just keep, have, keep having to push me and push me and push me in that direction. That's not, not to make it racial, but like there's, there's um, actors that will go in that are kind of chosen for their part, like with their accent and stuff. Right, can, yeah. can you do it more? That way? W- what do you mean? Uh, yeah. More excited? Right. Oh, you mean my accent? Make yeah, it yeah, make yeah. it stronger, yeah. right? Yeah. My favorite, like uh, my <laughs> of my my actor friends who are African American, they're always like, yeah, I love it when they're like, could you just be more more um uh, urban? <laughs> like, oh, you mean more black? You mean more black? Is that what you're trying right. to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and I hear about that all the time. Yeah, because that happens on camera too, on camera and on voice voiceover and all that. Yeah, my favorite Kamel Nanjiani has a big bit about that, yeah. and it's <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, great. So, I mean, I bet it's been a lot of fun. But you've been—I don't want to take too much of your time because I know it's been a long day. <laughs> but uh, I got nothing to do. <laughs> Let's just talk for hours. I, I can talk for hours. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Have to do we don't have, we're going home to edit all this stuff, so it's not, not like we're fun. doing. Um, so, what are you watching? Are you watching anything? recent like um, tv movies TV yeah. oh um well i'm really sad that um that a breaking bad is over aren't we all um yeah i also am actually a huge walking dead fan i even read the graphic novels so whenever i got cast on the show i was like <gasps> oh my god yes yeah. i have I, ha- I think i have most of them i'm up i'm probably halfway in the graphic novels yeah. but I recently watched the mid-season finale because I had to put it off because I was busy and yeah. working all the time. I had yeah. to put it off, and then finally I watched it a couple of days ago, and I think I'm still feeling it. Oh, dude. Oh it my was God. insane. Oh, my God. I watched it whenever I was on set, and I was in my dressing room, <laughs> and I knew I had a long time, so yeah. I was like, I have to watch this episode. And I and I and was it was really awkward because I was, like, in my dressing room and, like, sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope no one's listening to me right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, oh no. Yeah, it's so good. So good. <laughs> the, I mean, and it's one thing that, Robert, since Robert Kirkman's not running the show anymore, mm-hmm. it really, like, it's it's changed a little bit, but it's kind of changed in a, in a good, not necessarily bad way. Yeah. He's, he, was really a, he was yeah. a, yeah, he was a great showrunner. For sure. But then what, what they have now is, is I mean, also fantastic. yeah, so yeah. that's a good move. I mean, yeah. everything on ANC lately has been oh my fantastic. Gosh. I also, yeah, I also love Mad Men. Oh, Mad um, Men's amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to see what else they come out with. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I, all the Netflix stuff mm-hmm. has really impressed me. Did you watch I House of Cards? Yes. It's great. That's exactly what I was on. Yeah, House really? <laughs> it was it great. Amazing. And actually, Derek, the Teacher Bases mm-hmm. new show, oh my God, talk about t- sobbing awkwardly <laughs> <laughs> on the TV show. It's I think so that's his character. I think that's his type. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Totally, yeah. He's so good at doing stuff that makes you laugh so hard you cry and then also makes you cry because it's just so touching. And, and you're like cringing. You're like, am I supposed to feel uncomfortable like, about that? But it's also so amazing and, yeah. and funny. Yeah, yeah, he's so good at putting you through the entire spectrum of emotion. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, Derek is, I think it's my favorite thing that he's done for sure. And Orange is the New Black is really good too. Oh, yeah. yes. I, um, I finished that, I think, in a two days span because i just couldn't stop watching it awesome. because it's one of those things that you've really never seen before yeah. they've been producing netflix has been producing they some cool stuff it, man. Yeah. yeah netflix amc i mean yeah. way to go guys yeah. <laughs> good job <laughs> and also the cw with Starcross. yeah February, there right? we go no, CW has had some of my favorite shows. They actually are really cool about doing, uh, you know, sci-fi and fantasy. They get fringy. Like, yeah. yeah. They I get like some that. cool stuff. I like that a lot. They make it weird in a good way. Yeah, totally. Definitely. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, not to go back to Borderlands, as I always do, but <laughs> I think they made all those characters weird on purpose, and I think they did it weird at a good scale. Yeah, definitely. They did weird good. Yeah, <laughs> well, and I really like to... Because, you know, in the first game, Moxie was just a DLC. Mm -hmm. And basically, I just screamed at people for a long time. (laughs) And it was really fun in the second game to kind of have her character really fleshed out. You find out, you know, who her exes are. And you find out about, you know, she's a a mother. Very strong familiar when it comes to it. Yeah. So it was really cool to actually kind of take this archetype of a a sexy woman (laughs) and actually kind of dive into her psyche and, like, really get to know her as... As a, as a character, it was really awesome. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Um, well, are you on the Twitters? I am, at Brina Palencia. <laughs> Follow her. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. No, I've been following you for a little bit. You got some funny ones. Oh. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you would do me a huge favor. No. Okay.
okay, this interview is over. <laughs> it's getting weird. I, I'll think about it. What's the favor? The favor is, um, so you play a character that I love. Would you be able to tell me that I suck in your character voice? I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about Mark. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. You don't have to. Uh, what's, your, you what's your name again? My name is Dan. Dan. Dan sucks. Name podcast. Dan, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you suck. <sighs> my heart is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. It's been yeah, tons pleasure. of fun. Awesome. I hope you have a rest, a great rest of the con. There's not much left, but yeah, I think have fun. It's actually over. Right yeah, it's now. over, over. Yeah. But <laughs> have you walk? Have you been able to walk the floor at all? Or uh, a little bit, yeah, with my with my family. Like, oh yeah, you know, sweet. Out and stuff. Yeah, yeah. See any cool stuff? Good. Yeah, I've seen some. Dude, did you see the freaking Predator and Asian yeah. cosplayers? They were amazing. We saw all three of them yesterday. And then today, we saw like three different Predators. One yeah. was like on stilts and super yes. tall. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah they're all together. I wanted to take a picture with them, but then lots of people were taking pictures, and then I felt awkward, and then I had to do other stuff. But and then you go say, you, do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> uh, better yet, do you know who I think I am? Because <laughs> it's pretty impressive. <laughs> I mean, you could probably pull it off. Do you know who I pretend to be for a living? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm um, I'm somebody really, really cool. Yeah. But I'm the voice of that person. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's. I mean, I don't know. I guess you can do that. I c I can't do that. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I won't do that. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> most people won't. But it's good that it's yeah. good that that's good. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that that doesn't become a norm. Yeah. For humanity. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do it? Terry, do it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't know who you are. That's pretty much what you're going to get. You want a sticker? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want a sticker. I wish we had stickers. We were going to have some made. Yeah. Then That's really stupid. We're Why are you talking about stickers and then not giving me stickers? I'm sorry. I'm really disappointed in you. I'm sorry. We The eve of New Year's Eve. Uh, well, Dan, you really do suck. I know. <laughs> uh, trust me, I, I know. It's it's nothing new to me. <laughs> well, as long as you're aware. Yeah, I am um, painfully aware. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it makes me better. No? Okay. Mm, no, <laughs> probably not. That's that's um edit point. No, just kidding. <laughs> so, what? Uh, do you have any plans coming up soon? Um, not work, just... Uh, everything I'm doing coming up is all work. It's work. So, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like my life. I hope to see my mom. and My mom lives in Ecuador. Oh. My family is all over the place. I have, yeah, family everywhere. But my mom lives in Ecuador. And um, she, I wanted to see her in January, but I have too much work stuff. So I'm hoping to see her this summer. I think that's the curse of being in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Because I also just really want to go to Ecuador again because it's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Is that where you're from? No, no, not at all. Are you from here? Um, yeah, I'm American. American? Um, uh, I live in, you know, I live in Dallas. Um, but my mom just, uh, she retired to Ecuador. It turns out, amazing place to live. An amazing place to retire. It sounds really nice. I've heard lots yeah, of things about it. it's super cheap. Really? It's super <laughs> cheap, but like, doesn't feel like a cheap no. place. Like, it does, it's not like third world. I, I think it's like because we're used to here. Yeah. Dallas is probably one of those places. California, all over California, yeah. is one of those places where you're just like, I don't want to spend all my money just to live yeah, somewhere. Well, California, especially because you guys have like state taxes and stuff. Yeah. We don't have that. We taxes. have strong state stuff. We don't have state taxes, and we don't. Our groceries aren't taxed. <laughs> Texas is awesome. It's awesome. Oh, they don't tax foods. Yeah, actually, I think we're going to Austin for South by Southwest this Austin year. Austin is awesome. Yeah, I've I've heard lots of good things about yeah. both Dallas and Austin. Yeah, I want to visit both. Austin especially has amazing food. Awesome. Yeah, I feel so like good. Texas has probably got some of the coolest, coolest places to eat. Yeah. That's where. Uh, uh, we really. And Houston does too. A lot. Most people who are from Dallas hate Houston, and most Houston people hate. That's Dallas what I hear. Heights. But I, I like both, man. I think they, they're both cool cities. You know, There's no reason to offer. have a rivalry. Yeah. There's no <laughs> real think, reason. Yeah, I think uh, Houston has some awesome, awesome restaurants. Cool. I don't uh, know why. I, I guess I'm hungry. I'm like, food! Yeah. We're talk about all the well, restaurants. <laughs> we were, uh, 
we in- finished a couple interviews and then we're like, um, we should go eat because I think I'm starving. Yeah, but I've been working right, all day, so I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. You ever do that? I, I mean, I forget all the that, time. Yeah. I, I, the way the way that I don't forget is that I start getting really lightheaded. Mm. I, if I don't eat, I don't know if I have some sort of disorder or something. <laughs> but if, yeah, if I don't eat, I get really lightheaded and I also get very angry. Yeah. So I if get, I'm ever I, rude to you, I'm probably just hungry. Just give me like a Snickers bar or something. Yeah, I was gonna say they need to uh, they need to cast you in a <laughs> Snickers commercial. <laughs> yeah, <totally. laughs> Don't be a Brina. Yeah. God. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Let's, let's wait that happens, Snickers. Snickers, shouting out. <laughs> if you wanna eat something, grab a Snickers. It's true. Because don't eat anything else. I'm not gonna lie, that is my favorite candy bar. Really? Let's get into that because yeah. I have a thing against Snickers. What? I had a lot of. Sn- <laughs> don't look at me like that, Terry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, only because um, I had a bad experience. Meaning, I was stupid and ate too many of them, and then I think I threw them up. Can't remember. I kind of. It was a long time ago. I was pretty young. But then every. Like, <laughs> it, it was two days ago. <laughs> it was two days ago, but I was so <laughs> wasted that I don't remember. Yeah. No. Um, their ice cream is the best. I've never had their ice cream. Oh, yeah. This the Snickers best. ice cream bar is super good. No, I'm, I'm a Reese's kind of guy. Reese's, also good. Any, I'm, I'm a big peanut butter fan, so no. anything Reese's peanut butter and chocolate cream. is. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. No, they don't make an ice cream bar. They make an ice cream cup? Yeah. Because yeah, they? Well, they are peanut butter cups. I, I, I missed out then. You need to go get one. Yeah, I mean, get it right. Why would they make a bar when it's obviously a cup? <laughs> Reese's, <laughs> Reese's peanut butter bar. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound right. I'd eat it. <laughs> you would eat it, <laughs> Matt Myra. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so wonderful. Yeah. Great. We have fun here. <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> Y- you're probably the funnest podcast we've had really? today. You're because welcome, world. It's like you're y- you're willing to be my friend. <laughs> I mean, I'm never going to speak to you again after this. Right. Yeah. I know Let's that. Let's make that really clear. <laughs> 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 I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> well, Terry doesn't. Th- that's because I suck. Right. I mean, it is in the in the podcast mm-hmm. name. So. That's that's the title. Yeah. yeah. So that happened. <laughs> yep. We um, went there. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so. Uh, you, do you play any video games? Uh, you know, I used to whenever I was much younger. Mm-hmm. Um, and Who has the time I, anymore? You know, that's the thing. <laughs> I get super obsessed with games, and I, I definitely... Like, I mean, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, so I only allow myself one game yeah. now, and that game is Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> Great. And I play it religiously. I play it every day at least for a few minutes um and i've gotten every single achievement that you can mm-hmm. get in both the first one and the second one wow um, and so you yeah, do play that religiously i do yeah, wow <laughs> I really do, which is why i can't get into right. the bigger games that you so have. I have to spend several hours mm-hmm. to get all those achievements because i would do that <laughs> i need to um function yeah. in society so i can't it's kind of like i'm like an alcoholic <laughs> right no totally <laughs> and that's why um i get yelled at for not putting podcasts up on time because i'm usually playing a game or something yeah dude that's what i'm saying i would be one of those people yeah totally so but i hate it because i feel like i'm a gamer at heart but i can't say that i am because i don't really game other no than no it, it's it's <laughs> no it's in your blood it really is because I'll go months and months without playing a game, mm-hmm. but I feel like I need to be doing it every every moment of every yeah. day. Uh, yeah, you, you just just allow yourself one little one little iPhone game. You have to, yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm kind of a I'm a Tetris guy. Yeah, I'm a Tetris guy. I'll sit on my phone for probably too long and just play Tetris. <laughs> But obviously you haven't gotten your hands on Plants vs. Zombies. I mean, not that you have done that. Yeah, I mean, like Animal Crossing. My hands are all over that. Animal oh Crossing, yeah. one of those things that pretty much everybody's gotten into. I haven't yet because it feels like it's one of those addicting games. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I got I to gotta just stick to the one. Yeah, it's probably good. That's yeah. probably a good thing. Yeah. You hear that, listeners? <laughs> stick to a game yeah. and try to get work done. I, I'm very monogamous with my games. Oh, well, that's <laughs> good to know. It's a good way to be. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so... Uh, oh, have you seen any movies re- recently? Uh, the last one I saw was... I should go through all entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> American Hustle, great. 
Uh, last time I saw it was American Hustle. Mm -hmm. I saw it with my husband. I thought it was really awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really good. I liked it. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, last movie I saw, Frozen. I think I saw Frozen. Mm. That was the last one. I feel like that was a long time ago. Yeah, mm. it, w it wasn't. It wasn't recently. I mean, we're doing a pop culture podcast. Or no, this is a podcast more about the reasons I suck, and this is another one of those reasons. Let's add this to the list. Yeah. Harry, can you add that to the list, please? Okay, yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what was your number five reason? Oh, for not telling people to prepare before coming to my podcast. Mm. I mean, obviously, you didn't know you were coming on my podcast, but um, Terry knew. I'm just really talented and amazing, so mm. I was just able to come on See, without you, you say that like <laughs> you're joking, but no, you've been doing really well. Oh, thank you. You're professional, true professional, <laughs> uh, which I'm trying to be, but not very good at. <coughs> I suck. I'm trying. We're we're gonna get this. We're gonna yeah. get this down. You'll make it through. I hope so. I I think. <laughs> Doctor Who. Yes. You're kind of a tenant girl. I am. Yeah. I do love tenant, but I also love Eccleston. Okay. Well. Is it Eccleston or Eccleston? Eccleston. He has a T, okay, I believe. I yeah. Eccleston was my doctor. He was my favorite. He had one season or one series, but. That's that's the thing. I think he would be my favorite. Yeah. But it's just Tenet was there for so long. He really yeah. grew on me. But I didn't like him at first. I didn't like him until Girl in the Fireplace. Yeah. And oh, and yeah, it, I feel like it took a little bit to get into yeah. the David Tennant vibe and have yeah. him going. And his interviews after he was done being the doctor was like, yeah, they kind of just picked me up as because I was hanging on the set. And they're like, hey, do you want to be the doctor? He's like, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so. I feel like that is not true. <laughs> I don't like know. He is lying. Or maybe, maybe <laughs> he did, but uh, he was a. I know he was a huge fan. Yeah. I mean, he married the I mean, what fifth doctor's daughter. Oh really? Yeah, he's married what? to the fifth doctor's daughter. I didn't know that. His father-in-law was also a doctor. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. The one who played the doctor's daughter on the show. Mm -hmm. What? She was the little blonde girl. Blonde? Yeah. Yeah, little blonde girl. She was <laughs> actually the. Uh, You're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> There's some brain matter. All There's all it's all over this wall. It's covering yeah. all the sack <laughs> anime stuff. Yeah. No, no but that's amazing. Yeah, no, Eccleston was and I feel like that's why David Tennant is so popular. He was great, uh, don't get me wrong, he yeah. was a wonderful really doctor, mm -hmm. but he was kind of the first official main doctor that came yeah. back for the new series. Exactly. Whereas Eccleston was the first, but they were still getting back into the rhythm and then he didn't do a second series. Mm. It just I felt like he could have done a lot more. Yeah. But oh well. He was great. We had fun with him. Yeah. Um, so, Peter Capaldi. I'm excited about that. I'm it really excited that they went older yeah. instead of younger. I feel like he can give more of a, a wise vibe. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, Matt Smith was great and all, but yeah. like, I, I th it is time for a new, a new one. It was. I felt like it was time maybe a series or two ago. Yeah. I'm not like gonna lie. I'm not even caught up. Like I, I kind of got. It kind of well. It kind of fell off a little bit. No, I don't blame you. Yeah. I don't blame you because like I caught up, but it took me chunks. Like I had to watch it in chunks, or I was I was not excited about it coming out new. It was just like okay, I'll I'll, I'll watch it later. And I still haven't seen the Christmas special. I, so. I did see the. Wait, oh, did you? No, I didn't. No, the most recent one. No, I still I haven't seen the last it. One, but not Apparently, the it's really good, but mm. I haven't seen it. All right. We'll see. Yeah. Um. Peter I've Capaldi. Heard things too. You're actually the first one that I've heard that said it was really good. I've heard. I've heard it was really good. Yeah. But that's from that's from other our people. other yeah. producer, <laughs> who is a huge Doctor Who fan. Gotcha. Um, I'm getting the wrap up sign. But thank you for coming on and talking with me about all kinds of things <laughs> because that is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you, Brina. Thanks, man. Um, catch her on Twitter, Brina. At Brina Palencia. At Brina Palencia. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Stalker. Because I will. <laughs> Thank you.